farmers markets, locally grown, organic, natural, pastured. What does all this mean and why is it important? Hey consumers, Trace here for DNews. You've heard all of those terms before and they are becoming more and more important. Not only because of your health, but because of the health of the earth. August 20th has been dubbed Earth Overshoot Day by the Global Footprint Network. Now that is a terrible name for a day because it didn't tell you anything, but it's interesting because this is the day that we pull more out of the planet than it can give us. This means that we're now overfishing, we're overplowing, we're overeating, and that's, that's bad. It's actually really bad. Since the world's population is expected to swell to 11 billion by 2100 from the 7 billion now, because that's a lot of humans. So what can we do? We can cut carbon emissions, we can use renewable energy, we can lessen our water use, we can recycle, but you already know all that. There are other solutions. We can change how we get our food. Humans invented farming when they domesticated plants and animals some 10,000 years ago. Since then, we've made farms bigger and more efficient, but not necessarily better. We take plants or animals we want, we cultivate them, and we harvest them for food, sometimes on a massive scale. With plants, this can cause destruction of the soil, it can cause runoff, pesticide use, death to animals in the area, and so on. Thanks to a single plant, single purpose farming called monoculture farming, we're relying on technology and chemicals to force what we want from the soil. But we can't do that forever. Eventually, the earth simply won't be able to give us what we need to survive. People want their food to be healthy and, increasingly, they want it to be local. Locally grown produce cuts down on shipping and thus your carbon footprint, but more importantly, it breaks farming from a giant business into smaller, more resource-conscious growers. In some urban areas, community gardens are filling empty factories and warehouses that were once just blight. The foods that are grown there are grown by hand, they're weeded by hand, and it's going so well that NASA is testing the practice for long-term space missions. This isn't just happening in hippie towns, but places with grit like Detroit and Chicago and Los Angeles. In fact, one-third of LA county cities have specific agriculture zones, not just for plants, by the way. Regulations vary, but people can own chickens and ducks and turkeys, as well as a goat or a beehive. While all of that helps, the ultimate in environmental repair would be to completely reorganize our farming system. A number of ag universities like Michigan State, UC Davis, Ohio State, and private groups like the Land Institute are trying to breed a monocultural seasonal plant like wheat or corn with a polycultural friendly perennial plant like a sunflower. Then instead of having to plant new seeds every year, they just pop up on their own. This would mean stronger root systems, better plants, more carbon dioxide sucking, less runoff, less pesticide use. Research is ongoing, and there could be a day when a farm is a few blocks away and looks more like your grandmother's garden than the giant fields back in the 20th century. Are you concerned about how your food is farmed? Tell us about it in the comments, and be sure you subscribe so you can snack on some D-News every single day. Thanks for watching, I'm Trace. See you later.